Hallo, dit is Stevens hier, senior handler at the Internet Storm Center. Xavier wrote a diary entry about a malicious document with a good old equation editor vulnerability. Something from years ago, 2017 is the CVE 11882. And Xavier recovers the URL through dynamic analysis. I have done analysis, static analysis of exploits like this where I explain in detail how all the pieces fit together and then you can do the analysis. Here I'm going to do something else. A uh, quick and dirty analysis of uh, shellcode. So let's get started. So let's run Odidump here on the sample and as you can see it contains a stream. Now let's select that stream and look at the dump. So and yeah there's nothing really recognizable. If we ex try to extract strings we get nothing meaningful. No. This here contains shellcode huh, because it is an uh, equation editor ex uh, exploit. Now a quick an easy method to detect a shellcode is to dump the binary data and pipe that into my XOR search tool and use option W, uppercase W. This will apply a set of rules to try to figure out if uh, the data that is being passed contains shellcode. And I have to provide a dash to tell it that the input is from standard in. Okay. So, XOR search found two get EIP methods that typical of uh, the 2 bit shellcode. Here at position 5C, and it is not uh, encoded. Uh, XOR 0 means no encoding. And here another one, ROT 12. Now this might be uh, a false positive. But this is probably uh, a real get EIP. So now we are going to emulate this with the shellcode emulator. So I'm going to dump this and write this to disk. And now I run the shellcode emulator. I provide the file as input stream.fir, I give option find SC, find the shellcode, so to find the entry point of the shellcode and then also to make a short report. Let's run this. And as you can see here there are six potential entry points and one of them, 5C, is indeed what XOR search found. So let's take option 4 for 5C and indeed this is shellcode, you see a get proc address for expand environment strings W and then it uh, stops the analysis here because the shellcode uh, debugger here, the shellcode emulator has little um, API hooks for uh, Unicode versions but that's not a problem. Take a look at the analysis report and here you can see sample decodes itself in memory use option D to dump so let's do that. Let's run this again with option D to dump. Number 4 here. Ok. It has been written to disk. Let's take a look at what streams are, uh, strings are inside. And here you can see all of the strings used by the shellcode including the URL. For example also where it will write the file. 